Hello everybody, it's Eva from Zibi Tiger here again and today I would like to share with you my another project for Max Garden. Here you can see all information about this amazing shop and I'm coming to show you my project from uh, her new digital paper collection and it's called Rose Quartz and I'm going to show you this is Cut and Create paper and it's really amazing, it's there are so many beautiful images, vintage images and it's so many adverts, beautiful roses and amazing signs. Uh, I've got two sheets of those and I already used one and I'm going to show you now where I use it. <laughs> I will show you first box which I create for my journal inside. This is altered um, martini box. You know that drink martini? I think it's... I'm not sure what is it. If is it cognac or what is it? <laughs> but martini drink, alcohol. <laughs> has beautiful red box and I alter it to gold and I use butterfly from uh, that previous collection I used. It was Chantilly. Chantilly cream collection and there was this beautiful butterfly and I used this uh, this uh, metal piece, metal, uh, metal, I don't know how to say that, Met metal person, <laughs> like it's small butterfly and I create a few uh, layouts from roses and from gears, from butterflies, uh, I used stencils. And here you can see how I used few of those cuts and creates. Here I made kind of metal frame around this beautiful vintage image and I really like this one. It's beautiful. Here small tags on that chain. As you can see it's nice vintage style. And here I create, it's, it was there this uh, Alphonse Mucha advert in this size so I made small journal here it's really very small and I used like closure as you can see this one <laughs> it's from my old bra <laughs> I don't know how to explain but women will know where where are used those pieces I don't know how to explain it I'm sorry but it's from bra <laughs> this one <laughs> so I used it like closure and I made very small really very very small um, journal with few of those amazing images of uh, vintage women vintage lady ladies here you can see small images so this is the side here I made this little bottle and I put inside red rose so this is box for journal which I've got inside and I think I made it a little bit bigger than that box is so hopefully I will get it outside <laughs> very easy here is my <laughs> journal and my um, personal personal name of this journal is Secret Garden because I made it like it was some kind of secret of some young lady who wants to be hide there and who wants to make the hair, uh, dream hair, dreams over there in that garden. So this is my journal. This is cover of my journal. This is backside. I used uh, this uh, fabric uh, fabric wallpaper like my cover and I used my um, modeling paste and I made some texture over that I sprayed with black and gold uh, spray and then I used some kind of uh, I don't remember the name of that uh, of that color but it's like old bricks so I use it over it and this is front, my front cover. I stamped this image on the 
um, under these beautiful metal pieces. This you can buy in a Max Garden shop. Uh, all those pieces. This amazing brass, uh, amazing um, gem with that circle around. It's really gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> out of view <laughs> so you can buy it there also you can buy there those metal pieces and that kind of flower under that and I just put two gears between those layers and I think it looks really great and I made those corners from um, <sighs> how to say that uh, it's that I, I will show you and I will have a look how it's called this material, sorry for that noise, you have to keep it wrapped to protect it from dry. I made it from this, not from Bobani. <laughs> from this uh, pasta de molera model. Oh, modeling paste. Uh -huh. Terracotta. Terracotta is that color which I used over over my uh, texture, so it was terracotta. And this is some kind of paste, which is dry, uh, air dry. So it's brilliant for working. So I made those corners. Just bear with me, I'm gonna wrap it again. Sorry for those noises. This is my journal and um, I like to use uh, my dies, but then I'm so so sad that I have to put <laughs> to bin that negative of my dies. So I decide to find out some way how I can use those negatives. And um, if you know, skin holds has this die. I like to use those, it's amazing. Uh, I'm not sure. Tuck, tuck and book plates. It's called this, this die. Here is some number. 656938. It's number of this and it's called tuck and book plates. So I used the negative of this one. Uh, I cut out, I think, four, four same cards which has uh, same size as this uh, this die and I use it here here you can see half of that die and here is that other half <laughs> so I create my journal using those negatives and I made pockets out of that here is my first pocket here is small tuck it's from Max collection as well from Rose Quartz and I really like this collection, it's very soft, it's very romantic. I made here a small pocket and here is a bigger pocket and I made kind of a paper bag from my tissue paper. It's nothing inside yet. And I was thinking like gardeners has f many those small bags and inside is seeds for their um, flowers and vegetable. So I made it like this. This is another tag you can cut out from that, um, from that paper cut and create, it's there. And all those images are from this beautiful collection I'm gonna show you. Uh, those signs are there as well and this one it's a beautiful image you can use it on some cards like birthday wish something like this it's really very soft very romantic so this is my first pocket and I used uh, acetate uh, acetate pages between this negative die it's acetate and then paper from this beautiful collection here you can see how beautiful flowers are there so I used few stencils and this is from that collection as well. It's really perfect and I used my stamps and I create like a gate, like garden gate and I create this, uh, this kind of tuck. <laughs> it's here. 
here I used another image from this beautiful collection like tax pot and I include there some uh, time chart for gardeners uh, when they have to seeds put their seeds to ground and here I, I made pockets and I made small tucks it's that other half of that negatives and it's another pocket here behind this metal piece for some small notes and then I make this pocket with belief it's kind of a garden window I will put it inside later Oops. sorry and here is another pocket this is paper from this amazing collection as well hopefully you will see how beautiful texture how beautiful images I used few of my stamps with flowers and with some flower design I think every pages are stamped this is another I used only those small tags with note paper and with uh, book papers like this and I really stamped I think every single page is with some with some uh, garden <laughs> flower <laughs> stamp. This is another page. Here you can see how beautiful roses are there. It's very soft, romantic paper. And I use those dies and some stamp. Again, here is large pocket for tuck. And I stamp it again. First I used uh, the distress paint. Then I went over it with distress uh, ink. And I stamp it with this flower. And here you can see another piece of paper from this beautiful collection. Here is another tag. All those are included in that Cut and Create uh, paper. Here you can see beautiful butterfly which you can cut out from that cut and create, I think. Yeah, I got it here in bigger size. I use that smaller size of that cut and create and here you can see that butterfly. So you can fussy cut out and you can color it uh, which color you want to use. Here you can see in bigger size all those images I used in that small uh, notebook. And here, here you can see I used this tag for this smaller, in that smaller uh, arch. This tag, uh, I just fussy cut all those leaves and I just move it under this tag. This is a really beautiful image. It's that cut and create. Here is my tag. Here are another images from this beautiful collection. And again, I made pocket here. Where can be kept some keep some secrets. Yeah, I will put it later <laughs> inside. Some stamps with flowers with uh, some old castle. I'm not sure if you can see that. My camera is not zooming too much today. Here are some flowers. I'm gonna zoom it again, maybe. Come on. Mm, maybe we can try it like this. Zoom, please. <laughs> I'm sorry for this. <sighs> so as you can see, I stamped, I think, every single pages with some flowers. Here small uh, tag which is included in that cut and create, it's admit one. Here I made another tissue bag. This is from that collection as well. And here I made pocket behind this. And here you can open it and it's their bag. It's bag for seeds or for some uh, letters. So it's this one. 
and this is from the collection as well. Uh, under that, it's that rose paper, and I went over it uh, with black distress ink, and I used that brick stencil. This is from that ro uh, from that collection as well. This beautiful butterfly I fussed out from that collection, and I used my metal metal butterfly like decoration. Here is another piece of that negative dice and some another tag over here and I put there just some uh, note paper and another stamps another beautiful image flower image and it's pocket here and pocket here and I put something inside come on come here oh where is it ah here is it another flower image it's really amazing to use it for some uh, garden collection or garden journal because it has so many amazing flowers mm -mm. sorry sorry it's shining ah, here. you can see how beautiful this is I think Lilia I'm not sure how to say that in English Lilia probably <laughs> Here is a stamp from uh, Indigo, Indigo stamps. Here is from the same collection as well. And here another tax from this beautiful collection. It's so shiny today. I really like those colors. Here very vintage postcard with roses from the same collection. And here another. I'm sorry for that shining. Ah. You can see, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, here you can see uh, all those dies has pocket behind this metal piece. Mm -hmm. This is from same collection. <laughs> it's so shiny today. <laughs> it's like a small a bank note, uh, not bank note, bank, bank check. Here I uh, try to, no tea dyed. I tried to dye my papers in balsamic, balsamic vinegar. It was... A little bit crazy, but I like it. <laughs> it was changing all those colors. Very crazy way, but I like this this one, and I've got only one. Those others was just normal. Probably this paper has something inside, and I really like this one. <laughs> it's so crazy. Another stamped image, and here another. My tag. Here you can see sign love from same collection. You can see that, can you? Love from same collection, and I put some um, gem on the end. And I, again, I used um, distress paint with stencil on the background. Then I went over it with distress ink, black distress ink, and then I stamp it with that flower. I'm not sure if you can see that flower. It's just one flower here. So this is my another tag. And here is last page from my garden, secret garden journal. More pictures and informations will be on my, uh, on my web, on my blog, not web, blog. <laughs> so if you will be interested to see a little bit better all those amazing papers, here you can see it's with very lovely strips. So I used uh, my stencils. To make uh, this background and I use uh, stencil with that uh, ivory ivory I think it's called that uh, plant and again some flowers and this is yeah how you call it this one uh, rubons rubons I think rubons and I've got it for a very long time at home it was so hard to took it out from that to rub it on this paper from that foil, from that acetate, it was so hard. <laughs> so this is my garden journal, I really like this cover. <laughs> I don't know why I make it so old, but I really like it. <laughs> it looks like uh, some pirate's diary, <laughs> maybe I will do some. So this is my uh, project for today. I hope you like it, I really enjoy to do this. So this is my box, 
with all those beautiful, beautiful vintage images. I like how they look in a metal frame, those papers. It's brilliant, like, um, like necklace it will be brilliant. This image, special this image, it's beautiful. And all those small images, it's so shiny today, I'm so sorry. I will put some more pictures on my blog, hopefully you will see that better on my blog, what I made. So this is my project for today. I hope you like it, I really enjoy it and I have to say that I love this, this, this gem. It's amazing, it looks really brilliant. I'm gonna zoom it one more, once more, so you can see how beautiful gem. It's like pink with a little bit purple, just a little bit purple and a very beautiful pink. I'm not too much in pink color, but this pink, it's nice. It's very soft. It's not too bright. It's really beautiful. So all those metal pieces with that, <coughs> pardon me, with that amazing gem you can buy in a Max Garden shop. I'm going to show you. Once again, <coughs> pardon me, her informations, it's here. All those informations will be in the description uh, box down below. I will try to put their links for all these metal pieces and for that collection as well. Hopefully I will, did it. Uh, I will do it this time. <laughs> Great, <laughs> like last, last time. I'm a little bit lost in that uh, internet thing, so I'm, I'm horrible with this one. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you find some, some inspiration. Thank you so much for amazing comments, for all your support. Uh, and see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye.